This is a test of 290505, a shuffle bowler on an 11B board. We'll go ahead and turn it on now. We'll see that the lamp matrix has been repaired. It's fully working, all eight rows and eight columns working. <clears throat> we have put in F14 Tomcat ROMs into this board so we can run the display. <clears throat> And you can see it's running the track mode. So now let's go into diagnostics with this F14 board to check all the hardware. <clears throat> First thing is the display test, which runs. Next thing is a sound test. Bear in mind that this is playing the um, sounds for shuffle in but on the Tomcat ROMs. So the next thing we're going to do is a disp uh, lamp matrix test. We see that all eight rows and columns are flashing. After that will be the single lamp test. Right there. After that will be the coil test. So this tests all the coils. Starting with coil number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, and 22. So that's all the coils. They're not all used in the shuffle bowler, but they are all tested on the F14 ROMs. Next thing is the um, switch test. So we'll kick it into switch. And we're going to move to the other display. Pardon the sound, so I'm going to turn the sound off. And we see that it's testing switch number one, switch five, row switch one. And then the next one will be switch two. Switch three. Switch four, switch five, switch six, seven, and eight. And that's the first column. Now we go down the other columns. Column two, switch 16. Column 3, switch 24, column 4, switch 32, column 5, switch 40, column 6, 48, column 7, 56, and finally column 8, which looks like it's not used on F14. So this is that test out the whole board. We're using um, F14 ROMs. Next thing is to put the original shuffle bowler ROM back in. Okay, this is the second part of the board test. Uh, we've now put the shuffle in ROMs back in, and now the display will not work. So we're gonna have to do this blind. We're gonna boot up, and uh, we have also substituted an actual lamp for the lamp matrix so that it's just a more representative test. Now we're going to kick into diagnostics and go through so this is a sound test. That runs and then the next thing we're going to do is put into lamp test. 
So we're going to go through all the rows and columns. This is the second row, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, which is broken, seven, and eighth. And we'll go through the columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the lab matrix works. I think that's about all we can test because we're testing blind. Uh, let's try the solenoid test here. The solenoid test also runs through the solenoids 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and back to the beginning because it's not a pinball, it doesn't use the, the special solenoids. Finally, let's check if we can test the um, switch test. You see switch test works with the bong. So just like before, except we don't have displays, we can see they all bong and all the rows and columns work. Alright, so this is the shuffle bowler.